I'm going to take you on a little tour of the Alberta and Northwest Conference website as it's been updated for the last uh, couple of uh, weeks. So here it is. Uh, there's a new domain name, albertanorthwestconference.ca, and you'll see that it's uh, got a number of menu items across the top. And uh, I'm going to take you on a little exploration of some of those for, for us so that you have a better idea of uh, what you can uh, find here at our conference website. First of all, you'll see a beautiful logo. This has been created by a design student, uh, design graduate from the University of Lethbridge, who's also uh, a young uh, adult member of the United Church of Canada in our conference. So there are three main um, uh, places to go uh, on, the, on the main page. Uh, the conference directory, which is right here, and I'm going to go through that with you in a few minutes. Um, you can sign up to uh, get the, uh, the uh, latest news by email on a regular basis. And you can also check out to see what events are happening in the conference. Uh, so, uh, and then you'll also see a menus up here and uh, you'll see an about us, which has information about the goals and vision, the conference staff, who's on the conference executive and the work that it does and the press briefs that are made, uh, that are com comprised by Alberta Northwest Conference, the directory. This is just a link, uh, the same as it was down here with the conference directory. Uh, also, uh, you'll see information about programs and resources in uh, our conference, uh, affiliated ministries, archives, camps, forms, and handbooks. Uh, that's a really handy thing, um, and so on. The sexual abuse and prevention policy, and uh, information about the United Church of Women and Youth and Young Adult Ministry. Uh, also, it's a news uh, place to disseminate news about the conference, and so you'll see a link for that. And uh, also uh, a number of um, links related to personnel. Some of those are duplicated in some of the other um, resources over here. And uh, like for example, forms and handbooks, you can find that in two different places. And a contact us page and of course the search page so that in case you can't find what you're looking for through the menu system or you want to shortcut the menu system, you can just click on the search and uh, find out what you're looking for. So let's go for a little um, exploration of the conference directory. So I'm going to click on conference directory and the first thing you'll notice is that it comes up with a search page. So let's say for example I'm going to look for myself. So I'm going to start Peter. Uh, you'll see that there are actually only two people in our conference directory who have that first name of Peter. So I'll click on myself and uh, then click on view and you'll notice that it comes up with uh, uh, some information about myself. Uh, that I'm order of ministry and I'm called and appointed called or appointed to a pastor charge. Uh, there's my address, so I guess you can guess what pastor charge I've been called or appointed to. And uh, you'll also see that there's a link to my email, but my email address is not um, visible. But if I click on that, then my email address becomes visible and then it becomes clickable so that you can actually send me uh, a message uh, by email directly from the conference website. You'll also see some contact information there. Uh, my office and fax number, and you'll also see where my uh, where my information appears, uh, which gives you an idea of what uh, what uh, committees and responsibilities I have within the conference. So, for example, I'm a member of the Leadership Resource Development Committee. Uh, I'm on the Communications and Technology Committee of the conference. Uh, I'm a minister. I'm on the role of conference as ministry personnel, uh, and in the presbytery, you'll see that there's three connections through Northern Lights Presbytery. Um, I'm the person to contact about manses because it's part of the pastoral oversight responsibility. Uh, you'll see that I'm uh, on pastoral oversight committee and that I'm also s um, settled or called or appointed to uh, the Yellowknife Pastoral Charge, which is in Northern Lakes Presbytery, um, um, in the list of Northern Lakes Presbytery Pastoral Charges and Northern Lakes Presbytery. You'll see that these so-called breadcrumbs are all clickable. I could click on any one of them and you would uh, you get a list. For example, if I click on Northern Lakes Presbytery, you'll see that there's a list of uh, contacts. So I could look, I could click on the executive of Northern Lakes Presbytery, and then you'll find out who the chairperson is, uh, and so on. And then if I just go back, I can click on other committees and contacts, and you'll see that we have information there, some of which may be out of date. Uh, for example, our um, chaplain and things like that. Um, again, I'll go back and then I'll click on the Northern Lights Presbytery Pastoral Charges and then we have a list of all the pastoral charges, who the settled, appointed, called person is, the person um, 
serving in ministry with each pastoral charge. And um, there you go. So let's go back. Uh, let's look in. Let's look for myself again here. Peter, click on view. Um, I get two, two because there's two of us. So I click on myself, and there I am. Let's look at um, Mansas, for example. So there I am. There's my information again. Uh, you've got to me because you're interested in Mansas in Northern Knights Presbytery, and there's the contact name. When I click on my uh, it from my name again, you'll see that same information appears. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, wind this up.